It hasn't been long since I've talked about data mining for Pele, but as of today we already have new information. With patch 5.12 there is new data mining and there is not only a lot more information on Pele's abilities, but also new information on the next card afterwards. Due to the Spring Fling event, we already knew from Hyrus Ajax that Hera was gonna come in this year. Now we know that she's most likely the god after Pele. Pele is god 97 and Hera is apparently god 98. Doesn't always mean that they come in that order, but typically it does and with no other information other gods coming out this year, it seems very very likely. Her title in Smite will be Queen of the Gods and to give you at least a little bit of lore background right here, she is both the sister and wife of Zeus as well as the mother of Ares. In her lore she's described as the goddess of women, marriage, family and childbirth and she is also often depicted or seen with animals including a cow, lion and the peacock. So these could be elements of her kid. If you're more interested in learning about her, I would highly recommend checking out some articles or some stories about her, especially the context with Zeus is, well, very interesting to say the least. With that, we can move on to Pele. Now in Pele's case, we have more hard information on top of what we already had, and in this case, I will just go through it again, as it will kind of add a little bit to the kit overall and how things work together. What we already knew before was that she's an assassin, a physical character and has a 1-1-1 basic attack chain. Her basic attack starting at 39 damage plus 2.25 per level, scaling with a normal 100%. What we now know is that she has a passive that includes some sort of heal. Nothing is known about this heal outside of that and this may not be her only passive, but there is something related to a heal. When it comes to her first ability, there is a lot of extra information. We previously knew that it had a lava hit, a targeter and ammo and a regain, which could possibly relate to some sort of multiple shot system or charge shots, for example, like either Medusa or Thoth or Agni's ultimate. What we now know is that it also has different projectiles. It has a lava projectile as well as a stone projectile and it has up to five projectiles. The stone also has its own hit, so there's a stone hit and a lava hit. So that indicates that either the projectile consists of two parts, a stone part and a lava part that maybe hit after each other, or that there's some sort of toggle between the two. I could imagine both really, and especially a toggle would be interesting, maybe triggering different effects depending on which projectile you're using. What I kind of realized, especially with five projectiles being mentioned, is that we already have something at least similar to that in Smite, being the amplifier for Ram's basic attacks, who also, over time, gets multiple stacks for them and then can shoot the arrows whenever he activates them. Maybe we have something like that, maybe it's only a close range projectile as well that follows along with her basic attacks, but once again, it could also go in another direction with any of the other gods that were mentioned before. For a second ability, we now know a little bit more about the effect. We already knew that it had an inner, mid and outer AoE area, target on a deployable and now we also know that at some point, some area of this, there will be a knockup. If the ability follows a similar design to Poseidon's Kraken, then the knockup would be in the middle. On the other hand, it would also be interesting if the knockup was on the outside instead. I could also imagine this being some sort of wall ability on a second thought, maybe with a knockup in one of the inner areas and then a wall on the most outer area that could easily be broken compared to other walls. Her third ability, on the other hand, got more confusing instead. What we knew was that the ability gets some sort of bonus size with different ranks. Rank 1, bonus size 1 and rank 2, bonus size 2. And we also know that another ability, the fourth ability, probably the ultimate, has some sort of bonus count, so there could be an interaction between the two. What we now know is that the ability also has some sort of buff. Additionally, it is also a deployable, and additionally, it also apparently has five AoE zones, or at least visual effects for five different zones. Now, no matter how this works exactly, it sounds a little bit strange to me. We already have another area ability with three different zones and now we're supposed to have an extra one with five. I doubt it's actually gonna be five different effects. What I could imagine is that it's just different levels of lava around her, for example, or around some other object that gets placed, or just freely, but it could also mean that this area is not used to have different effects in terms of, for example, CC, but rather just different levels of damage. So 
the closer to the middle of this area you are, the more damage you take. It's also notable that it's not described as a circle ability at any point, so it could also be a wave or something, the lava wave that deals less damage the further away it gets or similar. And last but not least, there's the fourth ability, probably the ultimate, which also doesn't really have much more information. It previously had line and cone targeter, bonus damage and charge, and now it is an extra note saying cone again. That could mean that the line and cone part is no longer correct and it's just purely a cone now, or it could mean something entirely different. Again, too early to tell until we have more information. A line plus cone would also not be a complete new mechanic, as we have the same thing with Medusa and her two. We kind of have it with Cabracken's ultimate, or we have it with Terra when she dashes through one of her walls. And that's it for the information for both Hera and for Pele primarily. As always, thanks to Smite Data Mining for providing us with this information. And thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, feel free to sub and maybe the bell, it really helps me out. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Dukesloth TV if you want to. See you for the next one tomorrow. Dukesloth out.